Okay, so hopefully I'm stating the obvious here, but do not trust the propaganda of CNN or MSNBC, both owned and backed by corporate advertisers. They are simply a lighter, more subtle version of Fox News, and while they are correct on most cultural, domestic issues, they leave out many key details from issues regarding socioeconomics and foreign policy. This leads average Americans to avoid seeing the bigger picture and helps keep them complacent in an imperialist, capitalist, and racist society. I am especially concerned by the recent warmongering and weaponizing of the current crisis in Ukraine to engage in Cold War era fearmongering. By conflating Putin's Russia with the former USSR, they are attempting to smear socialists and progressives like myself. I acknowledge the Soviet Union was a brutal regime and I disagree with many of the things they did, but their goals were very different than Putin's Russia, which is a capitalist oligarchy like the US. And to say otherwise is to be ignorant of the complexities of class conflict. The Soviet Union was still the lesser evil during the Cold War and is not the same government as contemporary Russia. If you disagree with the statement, remember the atrocities the U.S. committed against Vietnam, along with the brutal police-led genocide of anti-racist civil rights activists in the 20th century. I know this sounds like whataboutism, but I feel the responsibility to defend my side. I've made it clear that I stand with Ukraine despite my skepticism before the invasion actually began and have donated a good amount of money to medical aid in Ukraine to help alleviate the suffering of the innocent civilians devastated by Putin's evil capitalist invasion. Let me be clear, I am talking about the innocent civilians, not the Nazi groups there like the Azov Battalion and anyone in the Ukrainian government who support them. Unfortunately, because the mainstream Western media is controlled by the ruthless, greedy bourgeoisie, they want to take advantage of the devastation caused by Putin in Ukraine to regurgitate talking points from the Red Scare. Anti-communism and anti-socialism are not harmless. They are violent forms of bigotry propagated by the ruling class elites that have led to genocide against innocent activists in capitalist countries around the world throughout the last century. Never forget that this is part of a war being waged against the 99% by the bloodthirsty 1%. Joe Biden's recent speech framing this conflict as democracy versus autocracy was particularly gross and misleading, and while I do not regret campaigning and voting for him in the general election because he is still not as bad as Trump, I'm very disappointed in how hard a stance he is taking against the working class. Remember that the Biden administration is still doing kids in cages, and they still have not lifted a finger in regards to canceling student loan debt. I'm sick of the media's destructive warmongering, escalation, and misleading framing to sanitize the evils of capitalism. These are the same people that helped steal the primary nomination from Bernie Sanders twice. Do not let anyone, especially your parents, be fooled by them.